Dave knows how. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna we're gonna start another little project. And uh, if you watch my video series on adding rear remotes and a spool valve, you'll notice that that video is really all about putting a top link on the tractor. And um, we put a, a va two valve, a double spool valve. So we got uh, a valve for a top link, hydraulic top link. And we also have a valve for a hydraulic tilt cylinder. But we don't have the tilt cylinder on there because in my honest opinion, they just, they're too pricey. I mean, the prices I've seen are three and four hundred dollars and you have to wait a really long time for them to be custom built to fit your, your tractor. So we're gonna custom build our own. I went to Nortrack, which is Northern Hydraulics. Um, I went over there and they sell a Nortrack hydraulic cylinder. This is it. This particular one that I bought is a two inch bore with an eight inch stroke it has one inch pins and this end threads on. This end had a pin in it, but I took it out. We're gonna put this away. We don't need that right now. Um, this end is welded on. This end threads on. We've unthreaded this and put it aside. We're gonna build an adapter to go in here so that we can weld on this piece right here that we bought. We got this at Tractor Supply. This fits the top of the lift mechanism that lifts the three-point hitch up and down. This slides up on it. It's a three-quarter bore. This is a weld-on type one. We want to weld this on here. Because this is so long, I like the eight inch stroke. That'll give us four inches tilted this way and four inches tilted that way, which should be more than any I've seen on the market. And hopefully it won't be too much that it puts it in a bind, but we need to move this down. Can't really have it connect up here. It needs to connect down here. So we got a piece of flat steel over here. We're gonna take some measurements and we're gonna scribe out what we want on this flat piece right here. So we got a Sharpie and we're just um, putting some dye on here, if you wanna call it that, to help our layout line show up. So coming over here to the cylinder, we're going to measure what this throat is up inside of here. And we're looking down to the bottom of there. We're looking at about three and a quarter inches. So what I want is I want a piece of steel that will slide in here and go against this bottom and have that pin still go through a hole. So this piece right here isn't wide enough. It'll go like that and bottom out, but that's not doing us any good because we don't want this up here. We want this down here. Be nice if we had a piece this thick, but since we don't, we're gonna use this piece over here. So we know we need, it to be three and a quarter inches deep. So we're gonna mark that if we can. Three and one quarter. So we know we need that to be three and one quarter 
deep. So we'll scribe a line across there, three and three quarter deep. So what I'm thinking is, you know, if we can, if we could put our hole like in here somewhere for that pin to go through and then have a piece come down alongside that cylinder, however wide a piece we need. We don't really need a piece uh, that wide. Um, probably, you know, we're just, we're gonna weld this on there. So we need a piece to be uh, wide enough that it'll, it'll have some a little bit of strength to it, but it don't have to be crazy wide. So uh, one inch maybe. Let's do one inch. Let's mark one inch. So. We'll bring this up and set it on one inch. And then we're gonna mark one inch. Like that. So then, if we have that one inch part come down alongside of here and be kind of close to this, we don't need it to exceed past here, but so far. So we're gonna measure this, see what this is. And that's a little over two inches, about two inch, 100,000. Um, we'll measure this and see what this is. That's like two and a half inch, a little more than two and a half inch. So, um, let's see, putting this in there. go all the way over to give it a little bit of strength. We could actually go two and a half inches. So two and a half inches from this one inch line would be three and a half inches. So if we mark three and a half inches across here, that should be that should be how we want this cut out. So we basically need to cut down this line across this line and cut up this line to there. And this part right here isn't gonna need to be this long. We're gonna end up cutting this off because we're not gonna want this thing all the way down here. In fact, we may even just need it right up here. We may not even need this little piece right here, but just to make sure we're gonna leave a tail in on here so that we can see what we need. So we're gonna put the cutoff wheel 
back in here. She's hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> drop that, drop that hot rascal on my foot. I'd know it then, wouldn't I? Whew, she is hot. Anyway, that's uh, kind of what we was trying to do. Let's slide it in there and see what it looks like. Okay, so just like that, sort of, kind of, sort of, huh? So <coughs> you know what I'm thinking is we try to get that bottom to come down against there. Not sure exactly how we're going to attach this piece. We may just attach it with the pin that came with it, which is this pin right here. Bore a hole through there. Shim it on each side to center it and make a decent tight fit. And with this, whoa, with this part right here against the bottom, against that flat part, hopefully it won't move. It'll stay right there. And this long piece, I, I know we're not gonna need this to be that long um, because we're not gonna want this all the way down here. You know, we're gonna want this probably up here somewhere, maybe even up here, which would mean we'd cut this whole thing off. Um, We're gonna to try to get this hole located so that we can bore this hole through here and then build a shim to go on each side to center this piece in that span. And then we'll decide, you know, where to weld this at in relation to the other end. We may cut some of this other end off of here. I don't, I don't know just yet, but anyway, that was a lot of grinding, but uh, it was probably just as fast to do it that way as it was to, you know, if I'd have cut it with the, with the, uh, with the cutting torch, I'd have had to grind it up clean anyway and then tried to mill it straight. And as it is right now, it's fairly straight. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's, it's fairly straight. Um, it's probably straight enough, you know. We could we could mill it a little straighter on the lathe if we need to, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Anyway, let's uh, figure out where to go from here. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.